King Special in the house. Yes. That's a stage name, and yeah. it has the real names uh, his parents gave him when when he was born. Can we? Yeah. Can you just? I go do by the name Edward Chukumajia. Edward Chukumajia. Ikweche. Ikweche. That's a long one. Do you feel all of that out when you fill your forms? Um. Yeah. <laughs> you have to. Some people actually have longer names. So, okay. Yeah. And obviously, you're from the east. Um. Yeah. I'm from Abia. You're from Abia. Yes. I, I like your beard. Thank you. Thank Is that you, part of you. your identity? Yes, yeah, part of the P, like we say now. Part hmm. of the P. Persona. Easy okay, failure. interesting. I love that. So now, um, <laughs> he's laughing. <laughs> oh God, it's funny. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> it's just the way. No worry. You know, the ambience is great, so yeah, of course, why not? Okay, I've actually seen you a couple of times, and um, before now, it's, it's it's been you in the background, and now you are in the forefront. What has what has um, informed that um, change? Um, nothing, you know, just uh, it's all about timing and whatever you do, and then uh, I believe in whatever you need, you want to do in life, you should study it, and then know it, and then study your act, and be, you know, be perfect at it. So, you know. Um, I've been into different things entertainment wise, you know, from radio to TV to to Mohis to Hype to my own music now and it's just, you know, it's been a great time and it's just been a learning experience and it's been from here to there and we thank God that as all these things have been going on, you know, there's been funding and you know we've been able to carry on and do good so for how long have you been in the entertainment world? Uh I'll say seven years. Seven years yeah, and seven you've years. gone this far. That's fast. Um, yeah. Um, you know, it's just, I think it's the way you do your thing. So at the end of the day, it's just everybody's different, the way you do your thing, so. Hmm. Yeah. King Special. Why, what's, 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 the, what's the meaning behind that name? Um, special because, yeah, you know, everything I do is special in one way or the other. Um, actually, um, as a hype man, I was special ed, and then, you know, now I, I, I do my artist thing solely, so that's King Special, but I still give them hype anyways. You know, and I saw special as a good name for me to use for anything, you know. And then the name special ed was gotten from me growing up in the States where the kids that were crazy were, were, were you know, required to go to school, but it was called special education, you know. Hmm. So that's where I got it from because my friends always thought I was funny, I was crazy. So, yeah. Interesting. Growing up, I did like a lot of uh, back and forth. Okay. You know, back and forth between here and the States, you know, shuffling. Um, I did some of my elementary school in the States, came back, you know, high school. And all, you know, just over the years, it was back and forth, back and forth, you know. And, I don't know, for me, I think it worked out because it gave me a little bit of this and a little bit of that, you know, so. What would you say have earned you the number one hype man sport in Africa? Uh, well, I worked with Morris Records at the time that I was the biggest label in Africa. Uh, at the same time, I think um, we traveled a lot. Like, I think I could probably say I've been around the world like three to five times. You know, I've been around Africa like five times just because, you know, I was working with a big label and at the same time, people want to be entertained and we know the business, you know, it's all about killing the shows and that's what we did, you know. And from me carrying myself to being humble to doing all the things that you know were expected of me and you know doing my job well i happen to be here now how do we tag you as an artist um when you say tag me what me like music wise genre yes, artist, wise yes uh, just tag me as an artist that makes good music you know just tag me as an entertainer you, you don't have to say i'm a singer or i'm a rapper or and you, you know. do everything um yeah you know, I do hype, I do rap, I do broken English, you know, if I feel a little jam vibe, why not, you know. But at the end of the day, it's all about making good music because I listen to all types of music. So, of course, it influences, it influences me when I'm trying to make music. Okay. Now, um, where are you most comfortable? I'd probably say, hmm, everything is kind of, you know, balanced out. I just happen to be more, most comfortable, like, when I have the, the Jamo vibe because, you know, Jamaicans make music that's turn up music, you know, at the same time. So, yeah, you know, something that has rhythms and melodies, and Jamaican songs have a lot of melodies and rhythm in them. So. Do you write your songs? Yeah, I write my songs. Do you write your songs yourself? Yeah. Okay, what inspires you? Uh, it's everyday life, man. It's everyday, everything you see on the daily. 
things you see okay, in so day, you everyday life. So what do you have? How many albums do you have to your credit? Um, this is the first video that we put out. Hmm. We have more videos to come. I have something with One Day with David O. So everything is unfolding now, you know. So this is the first. So I'll probably say my first album will be out in like in another year because out here in Nigeria, it's not about album sales, you know. It's about shows and good music, you know. Sometimes it's like a single market. So we'll chase the game as the game is, and then. Uh, We'll get to the albums when we get there. So you, uh, do, we, do we say please say, okay, maybe before now, since you were in the background and uh, you decided now to come up, you know, and be a full frontliner, mm -hmm. is it because the, the, there are things people are not doing that you feel, okay, you can do and make a difference? Is that why you have um, um, swapped the positions? Yeah, but I would not necessarily say make a difference, you know, okay. I would just say, uh, of course, yeah, the things that could be done that people are not doing and I know that you know, I can do those things. So yeah, I want to show people those things, you know, not really saying that I'm coming here to make a difference or change something, no. The, there's enough space in the sky for all the birds to fly, of course, you know, so, you know, just being me and then giving them what I I see in life, you feel me? Like, you know, visuals are important, you know, that's the way that they can see what I perceive as a person, so yeah. Okay, so you're more of a performer than a, a lyrical artist? Um, uh, it goes the same way. You got to be lyrical. You got to be a performer at the same time. You no, know? so people are just lyrical. I mean, R and B. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're people lyrical. like that. You know, for me, I think you know uh, there are a lot of things that make a good artist. You can't just be one-sided. You know, so everything has to balance out at the end of the day. Okay, you have um, a single right now, yeah. and it's called Money. Yeah. And I think it's that time when uh, the viewers should see what. Uh, Sure, King Special sure. is all about. Saturday night we'll be right back as we bring you money. These square meals that never see whilst you chill sipping Hennessy. All they got is the air we breathe every day. They on their knees begging, begging, please. If luck shine, then we'll get cheese. Hustle now, hustle, so some sell weed. No time to duck that they sell it with seed. Easy, cause the government man too greedy. And the hardship too hard, believe me. And I know deep down you feel me. It's got me so weak, I need me. So a moment of silence for those that we lost whilst we were hustling. Giddy. Money, money, every single day they want money, money, people suffering, they want money, money, every single day they go hungry, hungry, everywhere I go they want money, money. That was Money by King Special. Yep, wow, yep. that's a great one. How did you pull that off? Um, it took time, it took patience, and uh, of course, you know, uh, because I happen to be friends with people and I've been around for a while. By the time I came up with the idea, I said, this is what I'm doing. Everyone was like, wow, are you serious? I'm going to be doing that. Blah, blah. I said, yeah, so it's time. So, you know, we covered the logistics and did what we had to do. And then we put it together. It just took some time and some patience. But thank God for the, for the people that we know and the connects that we have. So, yeah. Hmm, so you've been understudying people? Mm, yeah, you could put it like that. So who do you look up to in the music industry? Um... Really and truly, uh, I can't say nobody, but I can say people like Two Face, like Wendy Cole, of course, any day, any time, because I think they're just so far going in a different lane. Um, I got love for Jesse Jags, um, just because you know those are people who think outside the box. You know, sometimes people might see it and say, ah, that person is different, that person is crazy. But yeah, you have to be, you know, off the edge. I'm surprised you didn't mention the band because I've seen you with the band a couple of oh, times. Oh yeah, we work together, of course. Um, uh, his style and my style are not the same. Uh, the band should probably be slim and like, you understand, you want to sell sex with women and stuff like that, you understand? You can be a sex figure as an artist. For me, I'm a boss, I'm a king, you know, I'm chilled, you know, it's about handling my business and then doing what I have to do. I'm not the guy that's supposed to be dancing or whining, you feel me? So we're different people, that's how entertainment is. Of course, I look up to him in the sense that uh, we've worked together, he's been, uh, a great guy, he kills his shows, you know, he's just been a great person to learn from, but now it's me on my own, so. It's you on your own? Yeah. And you also have a, a record label? Yeah. Okay. You know, so, me and my friends are pushing it, we're good. Um, life is good, I can't complain, man. I've had a great run, at the same time I still work with David O, you know, because we're like brothers, we've been, I've known him since forever, so. Do you have any kind of formal training for the craft you're in now? Um, 
No, actually, you know, it's like it's an inbuilt thing. Okay. You feel me? It's inbuilt. If you don't have it, you don't have it. You can't buy it. You can't learn it. You don't rehearse it. You know, it's just something that God gives you. It's an inbuilt thing, you know. It's about performing and it's about, you know, it's hype and then you also have to grab inspiration now to do music, you know, and all those type of things. And so when did you when did you really discover that you could, you know, be an artist? You could be um, creative? Probably like in my younger years, you know, just even before teenagehood and all that type of stuff because I always used to listen to music and I'll sing a lot and go, you know, just have my friends. That's what we're about, you know, and then going back and forth from here to America, it's like everybody kind of like made some type of music and then we'll meet people who were older than us, but, you know, everybody was into music. So there was always something there that was catching to me. And I liked Michael Jackson, I liked Tonya Cowen, I liked Mike Okri. So it was just, you know, if you want to music. define music, how would you define it? What's music? Um, I would say music is life. I would say music is something that uh, we can't do without. You can't do without it. Like, the, the, the globe would not work if there was no music. Like, there's no way, you know. There's music for people who are sober. There's music for people who are happy. There's all types of, but you have to listen to music. Music keeps you going. So, yeah. Some music people would life. say, some people would say music, it's a beautiful sound to the ears. And mm. some people would say it's noise to the ears. Uh, for me, I say music is life. Life? Yeah. Interpretation of life? Or mirroring life? Mm, life. Mm. Get up, go, make it your own. Mm. You know, leave something for people to remember. If possible, get yourself into history and be in the history books forever, you know. But yeah, live a good life, you know. For me, life is it's fun, it's exciting, you know, it's entertaining, it's get up and go, it's turn up, you know, it's good times. You know, of course, there are always bad times, but yeah, it's just hurdles in life. If it wasn't music, what else would you have done? Uh, if it wasn't music, maybe I'd probably play snooker professionally or play pool professionally or you know I had thoughts about stuff like that so yeah I think that's one of the second things I would do like I would be a professional pool player somewhere in Europe or something any plans like to go back to school or you know go into um, the academics anymore um yeah especially because now you know okay music is what you want to do so there are other things that still go around when you say music we talk about video production we talk about entertainment you can go back to film school you go back to production school you can take courses and then this is what you're doing this is what's going to feed you for life so it's better when you found out what you want to do and then you can go to school to add to it than go to school and go and study banking and come out to be a musician mm. and you feel me now you do what you're going to eat from you know because a lot of people go to school and end up not having anything to do with what they went to school for so why did you do that like yeah. For you, is music a passion or it's a means to an end? Uh, it's both. Okay. Yeah, it is a passion. And then on the other hand, yeah, it's a, a means to an end. Uh, music makes you a businessman. When you make music, you meet all types of people. You're going to meet, if it's from beggars to people that sell cars to all tycoons to Yahoo people to whatever. It could be militants, anybody. You meet anybody when you do music because music cuts across. You know, it doesn't matter who the person is. They're feeling your music, they're feeling your music. It doesn't matter what they do. Would you tag yourself as a successful music artist? Uh, yeah, I will because um, I've been able to make money. I've been able to, you know, touch people. I've been able to travel around. I've been able to meet international artists, you know, go places. And uh, before now, I've gone to places where we have some artists who even have albums who have been asked who I haven't gone to, you understand? Just, just because I channeled myself into different things. So you have people who are, I'm a musician, but all they do is just make the music. But for me, I can make music today. I could be on TV tomorrow. I could do radio. I could do hype. You know, there are a whole bunch of different things that I could do. And all within entertainment. I could be a video director because I'm creative, you know. You just, you know. So we'll tag you as a restless person. Mm. Restless, creative person. Well, you can say so, you know. All work and no play makes you a dull boy, but at the same time, you gotta work hard, you gotta grind, you know. Hmm. So, so, how do you unwind? You hard, you play how do you unwind? Hmm? How do you unwind? How do I unwind? Um, funny enough, I'm always unwinding. <laughs> I, I'm always working at the same time. It's like everything goes hand in hand. It's just. Anyway, it reminds me of when they're saying that um, when you enjoy what you do as work, it's no longer work, yeah, it's now you fun. You just enjoy it and you get paid. Yeah, you know, and it's day. easy, you know. So. Yeah, so what are your projections? Where do you mm. see 
see yourself in the next 10 years? Um, in the next 10 years, I'd say I see myself as somebody who would have already been giving a lot back to society. At the same time, um, it would be a, a blown brand, you know. And then I see myself also owning my label, which I have already now. And in that time, having people under me, you know, and just being able to give them entertainment because people want to be entertained. So, you know, as time goes on, you come, come up with doing different things that will keep entertaining people and just stay on top. So no matter how much money I make from whatever else I venture off into in life, I will still stand and not retire or something and still give people some type of entertainment. Any collaborations? Um, yeah, I have One Day, I have David Do, um, it's all my friends, man. All my, I'll have songs all with your everybody. Friends. Nobody you know. knows your friends. Tell them. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, they do know my friends. Um, most of these people out here, I'm sure that they know the face. Um, when I say my friends, it's from everybody you've talked about, uh, from the band and them to, to whoever you th think of, Whiskey or Lamide, Fino. You know, when I say all my friends, all the people in my video are more. <laughs> so, yeah, you know. <laughs> It's interesting having you. It's interesting having you. So, in your own opinion, if you want to compare the Nigerian music with the American music, the Western music, what has changed and what needs to be changed? Um, I won't really say change. We're just growing, man. It's a step by step thing. Um, something that needs to change, okay, maybe like royalties and how that stuff is here and then piracy and stuff. But, you know, in general, we're growing. So, it's, you know, step by step. Rome wasn't built in a day, like they say. So, Americans didn't just star music yesterday there's been hollywood and all these things from back in the day which as yeah we've had artists from back in the day but it wasn't something that was taken serious and it wasn't something that people knew that okay yeah this is a business this is you know this is a, th this is something that money could be made from that people who are responsible and can actually be looked up to should do music you know back in the day in nigeria if you're doing music it'd be like he's a musician you know but now it's like ah the guy does music is a musician you see it's a different piece so you know we're getting there just step by step were there times when you said okay i'm tired i don't want to do this anymore were there events were there occasions where you felt like giving up on this whole thing and just oh for me never never i thank god for that but a lot of people have ups and downs when you do music and people get frustrated and they get tired but for me never because you know i just put myself in a situation where i would be relevant and i'm able to, like i would always able, be able to be comfortable you know and then yeah, you know, and then I have a great family that's also into entertainment. Uh, ben Murray Bruce is my uncle, so I have the Murray Bruce's who own Silverbed, and you know, they guide me entertainment wise and work back and forth. So, okay, yeah. so you're from the entertainment family, yeah, <laughs> that's interesting. So, that's interesting. So, how do you intend to pass the torch because you're carrying a torch right now, yeah, right? Um, of course, now, um you're gonna have a family you're gonna have people under you i have friends already i have people that i like you know entertainment wise and all i have to do on my own is to you know infuse whatever they're doing into my own world you know and be able to push them on and support them and yeah you know you always leave a name somewhere like how you calculate the success of a man is like how many lives did he touch you feel me not how much he had how old are you um 25. You're 25. Mm -hmm. Do you think you, you have the staying power? Um, yeah. In this very competitive music world? Yeah, because I don't look like anybody or sound like anybody, um, and neither am I competing with anybody. You know? so, yeah. so, what are those strategies you have mapped out to keep you going, keep you uh, engraved in the minds of your fans? It's just creativity. It's as simple as that creativity and then being humble because you know a lot of people you start making money and people act funny and people carry shoulder you know when there's no need stuff that doesn't take anything from you you just don't want to do it like you know, I know just that be you humble and yourself, be creative you know you carry yourself very well yeah like this, your swag, size is swag. not your size is not it's not an issue at all no no it's swag have you ever had any no if i wasn't this big you probably wouldn't most people wouldn't even like me you know this is the swag <laughs> size. This size. No, no plans to downsize. No, 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 at all, at all. So, um, for me, it's just about staying fit. You know, you can be big, but you should stay fit. You know, go to the gym, run every now and then. Yeah, you can watch your diet, but you know, for me, it's all about staying fit. So this is like your identity. Yeah. This is your brand. Yeah. Being staying big and keeping fit. 
Interesting. Since you're 25, I can ask you if you're married because that would be. Ah, uh, <laughs> not yet. But, the but time you have a will woman come. beside you, don't you? The time will come. Uh, not at the moment. No, I'm single, ready you're to still mingle. You're moving. Do you believe in auto tune? Uh, no, but I'm, I'm not against it. Yeah, I'm not against auto tune. Do you use it? Um. Not really, but yeah, if I have to, like a lot of people use auto tune these days. Like, like the way people talk about auto tune, auto tune is not something that's from nowhere that just carries your voice and changes it into magic. If you can't sing, you can't sing. If you can't sing, you can't sing. Auto tune is not going to correct it. It's but just it, going to make auto tune it has also smoother. made some people, you know, people hide under that auto tune, give that false voice to the public. Um, you know, Meanwhile, they see, don't really have it. Music is being creative, you understand? It's not about having something. It's about being able being able to entertain people. It's not about you're trying to have something. You're not trying to have something. You're just trying to create good music and sell out to people, you feel me? So it's, it's different because people, yeah, but you have people who carry music as a competition. You understand? Ah, I'm singing with, I'm not competing with anybody. There's no, you understand? Neither do I try to sing like I'm Osha or something else. So it's when you try and become somebody or you're trying to prove a point, ah, I can't sing. That's when you now run into all that wala. But if you're not com com competing with anybody, all you have to do is just be creative and make good music. You've been here for 25 years now. Any regrets? Anything mm. you want to do differently? Actually, no, actually. Uh, I've loved it. You know, life has been crazy for me. Um, I was able to start stuff while I was young and learn and then just be a kid who, you know, I rode with other, older people so I was able to make, you know, some decisions in life and I haven't regretted any of it at all. Tell us a bit about no your family. Regrets. You have support? Um, um, yeah, I do have support from my family. My dad is late. Um, his name is Amadi Kweche, he used to be in the Navy, he used to be the governor of Imo State in Babangida's regime. And then my mom is an architect and uh, she's still here. My auntie is the first lady in Calabar with Leah Limoke and my mom works with the government there. So, you know, I'm good. And then family-wise, I've been supported from my uncles, from my grandma. And then, you know. Are you the first or the last baby in the house? Um, I'm the first boy, first son of my dad. And from my mom, I'm the only kid. The only so, kid? Yeah. So you have all the attention. From Aren't her. you lucky? I love it. Mama's boy. Mama's boy. Swag. <laughs> <laughs> I am a Saturday night boy tonight. Of course. <laughs> it's been a pleasure having you on Saturday night. You too. Nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah, nice meeting you. And so viewers, on that note, we want to say thank you so much for staying tuned to this week's edition of Saturday Night. Until next week, like I'd always say, be kind to one another. Good night. Salute. 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 <laughs>